This year's National Food Safety Month theme is Be Safe, Don't Cross Contaminate, focusing on best practices for avoiding the spread of pathogens from one food or surface to another. Cross-contamination can happen at almost any point in the flow of food. From preparation to service, you need to be aware of when and how it can happen so you can take steps to prevent it. Operations use three compartment sinks to clean and sanitize large items. Follow proper procedure to set up the sink to ensure your items are properly cleaned and sanitized. Clean and sanitize each sink and drain board. Fill the first sink with detergent and water that is at least 110 degrees. Fill the second sink with clean water. Fill the third sink with water and sanitizer to the correct concentration. Provide a clock with a second hand so food handlers know how long the items have been in the sanitizer. Make sure you have the proper temperature for high temperature machines and the proper concentration for a chemical machine. Any surface that touches food must be cleaned and sanitized. Scrape or remove food bits from the surface. Wash the surface with an approved cleaner and with an approved tool. Rinse the surface with clean water and the correct cleaning tool. Sanitize the surface with the correct sanitizing solution which has been prepared to the correct concentration per manufacturer's requirements. Sanitize the surface. Allow the surface to air dry. Some operations use one set of cleaning tools for food contact surfaces and another for non-food contact surfaces. Towels used for non-food contact surfaces should be used to clean your walls, shelving, and garbage containers. Towels used for cleaning up food spills should not be used for any other purposes. Always store your towels in a sanitizing solution between uses. It's important that your hand washing stations are well stocked at all times. It's easy to neglect hand washing stations during busy times. Having the following items will ensure that your staff has everything they need to follow correct hand washing procedures. Hot and cold running water, soap, a way to dry their hands, a designated garbage, and proper signage. Please visit our website for the complete weekly training activities to learn more about this topic. There you can see additional videos and download weekly training posters. Weekly training activities communicate concepts clearly and quickly and can be completed in less than 10 minutes. Join the conversation at ServeSafe's Facebook page or Twitter and share how you are participating in National Food Safety Month.